um, my name is Liam and um, I travel a lot for my job and spend a lot of time in hotels. Um, so I decided to entertain myself by talking about one of my favorite things, paranormal activity. So um, I thought I'd start with my hometown, Des Moines, Iowa. It has a lot of different um, little places that people don't know about until you Google it. Um, but let's start with the most famous one, Merlhead Mall. Merlhead Mall is located at Douglas Avenue and Merlhead Road. Um, it's grown over the years. Um, but before it was Merlhead Mall, it was St. Gabriel's Monastery. Um, I really try to research to see why or how, why it closed, this monastery closed. There's no rhyme or reason. I've checked everything, people. Um, so if you know of why or find something, please comment below. Um, so the monastery was open from 1921 until about 1950s, I'm thinking about 56. Um, and the only thing I found was that um, a developer decided to buy the land, wanted to build a mall. Bye bye, monastery. But the monastery had a deep, dark. The nuns, the nuns were impregnated by whoever and they were um they were forced to have miscarriages or did have miscarriages um but the tower um on the front of Merle Mall tower um was the tower of um St. Gabriel's and people here at night hear the nuns crying they hear babies crying um they hear uh elevators there's there's an elevator I guess goes from the bottom floor up and they hear it come up and opens and footsteps and nobody's there um I personally have never experienced anything normally the stories that I've heard or read are from uh, security guards that walk the property at night um <clears throat> there's also rumors that the downstairs, which um, unless you grew up there, you wouldn't know it was there because you walk in the front doors and it's like um, a normal, you walk straight into the mall. Well, it used to be there was an escalator that went downstairs to some shops. Um, <clears throat> that was covered up, but there's still access to it um, through tunnels. And people have said they've heard things down there, um, nuns crying. Um, people screaming um, so anyways the monastery was um, the ground was bought in 1956 and so after that I really couldn't find any more on it um, if they went to another d building or whatever um, Merle Mall seen some tragedy so there's another famous story. Um, in 1978, there was a fire, um, early morning fire, and it was at the Yonker store, which if you would go there today, it's actually Target now. And they had 10 people die from it. Now, I've never heard anything again, but they say that um, they do hear people screaming um, unfortunately, um, some of the stories I've gotten, um, I did talk to the, uh, fire chief at the time, um, and he said it was horrible. He didn't even like talking about it because it was so horrible. Um, they had to tie ropes to the doors. Um, it's 1978, so technology's not all there. And they had to crawl through as the fire is going and feel for people. What made the job even hotter was they could feel mannequins. So they were pulling mannequins out instead of the people, not on purpose. They did, you know, it's, 
you're blinded. You, they're going in blinded. They didn't know. Um, so yeah, Merle Hay Mall this area has actually seen a lot of tragedy. Um, again, I've never experienced it. I would love, so love to. Um, Merle Hay Mall, I've tried to get some uh, investigators in there. They won't have it. They will not let anybody in there to investigate. Um, so your best bet is become a security guard nightly. Anyways, that's the story for Merle Hay Mall. Um, if you ever go there, um, be aware of its history. And um, hopefully you don't see or hear anything. I'm going to shut this off for now. And I will be back sometime with the next story of... Des Moines, Iowa, one of the haunted places. So, um, thanks for listening. Um, the pillow next to me just moved. Yeah. Well, we'll be cutting this off today.